much. Yep. Hello, everyone, and welcome to session nine of Land of Lotan. Um, we are here tonight. Yeah, yeah, session oh. nine. Um, as always, I am Zach, and I am the DM. And the lovely pe players are. I'm Hannah, and I play Luffy. Bill Bastion. Uh, this one is Cadriel. <laughs> 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 Lee and I play Vale and he plays. Hi, I am Zerla. I play Layla. <laughs> I'm Marcus and I am playing Aranis. Theo here, playing as. Oh, well, I got that aspect. Commitment! <laughs> 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 He's already in character. <laughs> Forgot his own name. <laughs> wow. Arvel playing as Zeke. <laughs> Alright, it's becoming a thing now. <laughs> uh, last time, our adventurers, after defeating Magdalena, after a certain deal was made with an or a certain orb, uh, the group <laughs> the group managed to successfully escape out of Elysium, make it back to the ship, after setting Lochte down to recover from her five points of exhaustion. Wow. Um, you know, we're able to finally get a full night's rest. First you had in about three days. Mm, sailed the seas, heading back towards Twilight Town. Lots, lots of RP, lots of conversation, but it was much needed. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ended last session with Twilight Town on the horizon, which is where we will begin it, uh, as you all are starting to port into Twilight Town. Um, Kadril, last <laughs> night you will remember your visions. Yes. Um, you have seen various things. Uh, you all returning back to Hollow. You remember seeing a, a child mm. next to a broken down carriage. Mm. Crying? Emotions? Yeah, yeah, very, very emotionally distraught. You remember seeing another set of amber eyes. Magdalena had amber eyes. Yes. You remember also seeing a female, very fine, very similar, actually, to your your construction. Uh, um, my character? Yes. Ah. Uh, sim similar facial features, uh, similar skin tones, uh, hair a little bit different, okay. but it's giving off a very similar aura. Okay. And then lastly, you remember a coliseum. Tons of cheering people. And a fight in the coliseum? It, it seems to be, yeah, gladiator, but you remember yourself being in the coliseum. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Does oh. Kadriel, do Asimars know about like lots of other Asimars? Is that pretty common, or uh, are well, they with, kind of few with and far you, between? You're, you're kind of like, you were brought into this world, and you're trying to find out that purpose, like why you're here and stuff, and hoping that these visions lead you to that purpose. And why I'm here. Yeah. yeah. So coming across another one, perhaps similar purposes, not really sure. Okay. We haven't run across any no, like you yet. When you said I see a number, uh, another pair of amber eyes, mm -hmm. did they belong to that child next to No, the they did not. Okay. It, it was a, a separate a flash. flash of images. Did they belong to the Asimar-like person? They did not, no. Okay. So it's three flashes. Yeah, yeah. And several different images flashing through your mind with your visions. Very uh, good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I will keep this to myself for now, mm. as I have been. Because um, I just doubt anyone would have answers yeah. besides me or in time. So. Just yeah. drown your sorrows in a few apples. <laughs> Ooh, don't even... Ooh, has anyone introduced me to cider yet? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I was well, literally just thinking that. Mm. I was also thinking of apple mead, but... Mm. Yeah, some kind of alcoholic. I do have one question. Yes. Um, because of how we do skills, um, my level 6 allows me, Dragon Sense gives me advantage on um, perception checks, or wisdom checks. Um, am I double nah, proficiency in it? Or? You'll just have advantage. 
Um, again, that was that was my mistake as a DM, and like I said, it's going to be a lot of it's going to make a lot of higher up stuff just kind of null and void, <laughs> giving you advantages on checks and skills. And it's just my fault for giving you advantage on proficiencies. You right. gave us too much power. <laughs> It also, that, I mean, doesn't it give the enemies power as well? As they get stronger, I mean, they'll get more. Yeah, yeah fair if, enough. If they have. That, but yeah. yeah. We just had a hand By the way, the Luffy Tinker with the glove. Shh. Mm -hmm. Doing those three cool. I mean, days. there hasn't been a three day skip yet. Oh, yeah. Um, you guys woke up, you had your conversations, you, you mm. kind of settled down, uh, ate, sorry. slept. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah, hollow. Was that the town that was destroyed? No, oh. Hollow is the city of Tinkerers where Lucian is at. Gotcha. State was the destroyed one. Yes, State was the destroyed one. And we're heading to Tinkertown. Here. Or Twilight Town. Twilight Town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tinker. I mean, a bit Tease. Tease. Yeah. Tease. Yeah. <laughs> Tease and L's so are popular in this. Quit teasing me. Oh, you know what? I think I, I, I think I can see the future. <laughs> yeah? I think I can see the future. I okay. can see the future! Or perhaps possible futures. Possible futures. Mm -hmm. um, How does the rest of that go? I can see the future. Okay. okay. So, you guys all are arriving into Twilight Town. Lofty. Lofty. Cud. Oh, yeah. And Aww. Cinder. Not low. Yeah. Well, they're with you, kind of tying off the boat at the dock there, getting ready to enter town. <laughs> What's your all plan? Well, first of all, our bell goes like, well, <laughs> I'm not going to miss the ship. <laughs> we went with um, we went with a lot of people. We came back with less. Yeah. Cinder is still alive, right? Cinder is alive. I remember him. He seemed to... Pretty much kept to himself as much as possible during the ship ride back. Mm. What time of day is it? Mm, I mean, mid morning. Okay. Not quite noon yet. Okay, so we have arrived. I'm gonna walk up to Ted. Walk up to Ted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does he still have the two halves of his necklace? He does. Would you like me to force that necklace into one? Ooh. He kind of looks at you, a little concerned, and you can see the question in his raised eyebrow. Would you or would you not like me to mend it into one? How so? <laughs> magic? Oh, well, there is that, but yeah, magic. You, you tell him magic. Yes. Oh. He looks to you sternly. We are back in Logan. <laughs> I would strongly advise using that as a rarity. Hmm. Perhaps maybe we should have another sailing expedition. <laughs> <laughs> no! Lochte, is, Lochte comes up to that point. Not for a long ass time. <laughs> um, I, 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 like, I imagine she's gonna retire after that. I've got high fives, Lochte. Yeah. Uh, Layla's gonna go speak to Lochte and ask her, like, what are your plans after, after this? Same old, same old, really. I mean, hitting up this town for all it's worth, and uh, paying mercenaries, getting paid by mercenaries. Who knows? Tomorrow was a new day. Mm. Is there a place of worship nearby? In Twilight? <laughs> no, no. That's, uh... I doubt she'd know anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should start a place of worship. Bastion. I'd very much like that, but perhaps we don't have time right now. From what I know, you all... Probably head back to Lucian. Oh, most definitely. Um, would you care to come with us? Me? I mean, Todd is always welcome as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course. So you guys hmm. kind of as a package deal. <laughs> um, roll persuasion. Ooh. 
of Elysium. I honestly appreciate the concern. Perhaps after I take the time to recover, which will be quite, quite some time, she's still kind of hobbling around, not quite herself, mm -hmm. but doing her best to be so. Perhaps that alcohol didn't quite help in her <laughs> process of recovery, um, but it's locked in. Is, Ook, is she like? So, it, is she out, is out she, of character? Out she's, of character. She's had one long rest. Yeah, no, no. Uh, is she? I know. I would. My character would know this, but she was Lucian's contact. Therefore, mm -hmm. she is connected to Lucian. Yeah, she's able to to send messages, send word to Lucian. Okay. Uh, alright. Now, sorry, okay. I needed to gather some information before I just will and Ellie said something. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Well, if you ever need us, you can always have Lucian call for us. Of course. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I appreciate all of you, really. That was quite the ordeal we just went through. Yes. Unforgettable. And Agreed. to show my appreciation for your uh, captaining, your fine leadership. Oh, hush. <laughs> your shining qualities, uh, my dearest possession, an apple. <laughs> she takes a big old grin across her face. <laughs> Thank you. Takes a good hearty chunk out of it. No. Oh. No! As she's talking as she's chewing. Mm -hmm. No, this very good tool. More important than this. A bit of apple kind of spewing out as she Can says, anyone speak a apple? single tear. <laughs> yeah. No, no. He's happy. Um, brings me to one thing. Uh, I was supposed to pay two mercenaries for this trip. One of them did not make it back. During this time, Cinder's kind of walking up to her expectantly. <laughs> she hounds him, parts of gold, and says, Thank you for your services. Glad you made it back with us. Nods, looks at you all, nods again. Thanks for, thanks for everything. Mm -hmm. Starts heading off the ship. Adios, amigo. <laughs> yeah. Bye, cousin. <laughs> no, no, that was Cinder leaving. Oh, yeah. Bakhti's still there. Then she looks at you all, especially at you. <laughs> I know it was a rough loss. I know. Yeah, you can go ahead and say gold doesn't help, but it does in some case. She will hand you Sarah's pay. Hope you distributed some of your friends and everything. <laughs> Seems you lost a great deal with them, so. Question, um, out of character. Is Tud under her pay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see. I would see that was my thought process, <laughs> too. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, no. No, no. Okay. No. Um, I don't know what to say. I will make sure that this gets put to good use. Will you finish your tale? Oh, Sarah? Indeed, I will. I'll make sure that it gets told to everyone in this place, he in this land of Lotan. He should be remembered as the man he was, not the tortured, tormented man he became in the end. Was that? that was brutal. It was a horrific sight. How did I put it? <laughs> Spiky, sassy Sarah? <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's horrible. <laughs> you have that written prior? I write tragedies, not satires. <laughs> Somewhere. Um, 
fast, spicy, she will, shocky stare. Spiky, she will hand you a pouch stare. of <laughs> 500 gold. <laughs> Hot diggity doom. Oh, out of Quite a bit of funding went into this expedition. Let's drink! <laughs> 500 gold later. Okay, so how much do we get in individually? If you want, it um, she on, told him. Oh, just, just, yeah, just, you can split it with that's us. That's right. So, so you can ask, ask him. him. Yeah. I'm going to inch closer, you know, from the edge of the screen and suddenly beside... <laughs> how, how, many, how many apples can you buy with that? Um... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hone in too. Mm. Probably should get some ale as well. <laughs> <laughs> tell you both. What, tell you both what. We you will know, buy. We will buy some I farm. Some yeah. Tell yeah. you. Tell you what. We'll buy some farmland and we can grow all the apples to your heart's content. Excellent. How long the ale? <laughs> Well, geez, I can't start. <laughs> well, geez, I can't start a brewery yeah. too. How about we'll invest... turn the apples into ale. How about investing into real estate? That's Fair not enough, a bad Patrick. idea. Invest into real estate, some farm nearby, um, so one of the major cities, and we could always I'm... have a place to go back to. Can we just I... retire and become farmers? <laughs> <laughs> Screw the adventurers. I feel. I feel like we should have some place of. Home, some headquarters. For Agreed. Could it, not be, could it not be the capital city? Perhaps it should be somewhere secluded. private. Private. Oh. Capital city with you all, magic casters. Understood. Yeah. <laughs> are you Are you okay with this? I think it's. Layla is somewhat amused that <laughs> um, they are all giddy over five hundred gold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That pocket change to her. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds she started like this campaign with 300. Class. Oh. <laughs> uh, do whatever you guys want. <laughs> don't live in this. Don't live in the capital city oh. or any of the capitals. Lock, Lockty and Tug will start getting off the ship and stuff. Mm. He's like, oh, you all. All right, hurts and all, but I'm getting more sleep. <laughs> she yeah. starts walking towards the end. I was going to say, Vale was going to mm. reach out his hand and go, thank you yeah. for the... Yeah, she'll assistance. turn around and, and say her goodbyes and stuff and shake your hand. You be careful out there. All of you. I want to go find a blacksmith. And yeah. Aren't you all going towards Hollow? Mm-hmm. I imagine that we can find everything to our heart's content there. Eventually, I want to find a blacksmith. We yeah. are. Forge and Hollow is the best you'll have in Loden. Um. Mm. Okay, so he got a rapier. I'm sorry, I wasn't here it, last session. It, it is. It's a long sword. Oh, a long sword. And it took the form of what he wished it to. What is. Where's the black orb? He has bag. it. In his bag. Yeah. And we all know this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, 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 it stopped spinning, so now it's mm. like. And so it, touch it, it is tangible yeah. now. The right. balls are inert. Yes. <laughs> yes. It is a thing now. It's it not. is wrapped in cloth. Well, and we like the also, are on. Yeah, we know yes. he <laughs> accepted power from it, but we don't know anything past that. Um, There's a point of contention right now. <laughs> Lock to you. We'll look to Arbella, who's on her phone right now. Yes. <laughs> Oh my God, no. <laughs> Put it away. <laughs> he doesn't get one warning. <laughs> the warning was the message in group chat. There you yeah. go. All right, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. DM is making a point right now. Yeah. Oh no. We have a special chart for for phone use. Oh no. Um, our bell is about to be the first guinea pig for it. What's the chart do? It depends. It was, what was oh, let's see. Uh, the chat. She you could roll, lose the ability to speak to You roll a d20. Oh, a d20. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Seven. Seven. So, mm -hmm. All right. Um, injury. The so next blow the PC receives from something. an enemy else. removes a digit, okay. ear, oh. or other small missful limb. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think the fun <laughs> would suffice. I'll yeah. say this lasts for about a day, but yeah. Okay. So what? what the next time, the next time he yeah. would get hit, he okay. would lose a digit and gotcha. ear. Uh, uh, yeah, it's some okay. small removable. Yeah. The character, right? The yeah. Thumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <I> mean, <laughs> pull out your pocket knife. Oh, oh, no. 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 Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> she, yeah, uh, Lofty will <laughs> turn towards you. So yeah, let's the phone again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, I thought oh. we were doing this in character, not out of character. Oh. <laughs> does yes. that just start? Like, Cut off his finger, give it back to me at the end of the session. To me, uh, yeah. a company. Yes, cousin. We both left the same family, but, uh... I don't mind referring to you as family. You've earned that. So. Technically, you and Ted are all I've got. So, thank you for that. Oh, uh, I have a little hug in Tiger as well, yeah. Well, it's good to have a family then. Okay. Other than, um, I, nah. Thank you. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I consider all of you family now. And she'll... Does Bastion have a concept of family? She'll look yeah, to... Absolutely. Oh, yeah. She'll look to the rest of question. you for, like, one final goodbye. Oh. Especially focusing on Layla. Just... That's a horrible <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what else is Luby? Good luck on the rest of your journey. I hope to... Thank you. See you again. I hope for that, too. Take care of yourself. I'm a character. See her. <laughs> yeah. With her one good eye. <laughs> um, I, I, is there a bakery in this town? Mm hmm. you're looking for taverns, inns, or. Anywhere I could buy a pie. <laughs> pie? I mean, you can ask the tavern cute. That's where most of the food comes from, but. Mm. Okay, they'll thank have, you. <laughs> they'll have fish pie or something. Yeah, yeah, apple, pie. Yeah. Yeah. Tuna pie. <laughs> apple pie. Booze, fish, and sleep are the main uh, huh? products. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm gonna have all three. <laughs> she starts walking <laughs> towards the end. So do we actually have any business? And yeah. How Maybe. long would it take us to be get back to Hollow? Hollow is three days journey from... Do Hollow. we have three days journey worth of food? You guys still have your rations. You yeah. use yeah. a lot of that. Yeah. I mean, you... I don't keep I track bought, of that like, anymore. No, I bought, well, you bought a ton of stuff. Yeah, I bought a lot of food and stuff at the beginning of our journey. Do we still have a horse and Speaking a wolf yeah. and a construct? Mm -hmm. uh, nay! <laughs> park, park, park. This, this, this horse and wolf and two constructs are right next to you all. Oh yeah, hello! <laughs> so I will pet my little babies, the including the constructs. Okay. <laughs> That shit will bend over. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> also gets a pet. <laughs> Validation! So, uh, I have a question. Oh, yeah. Bastion. Yes. Can you make these constructs work as you are? Or you do? Or. No. I, I don't uh, have the technology to imbue life into organisms. Don't you have, like, divine sentience? Okay, it was granted. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Saren Ray imbued him with life. Hmm. So I don't actually know the process to creating a real I normal wonder. Uh, this, this is kind of dumb, but I'll approach one of the constructs and pass it and pray to Serenary and see if Serenary will bless. Just Can you please leave my constructs alone? <laughs> I want to see what I happens. don't want you to break them. They won't break, don't worry. I don't... I'm just touching it. That's uh... it. Roll. Look at what happened to your gauntlet. Or Bella, <laughs> perhaps you should listen to the princess. Yeah, roll one. With, with this thought in mind, leave my before you even touch the construct, yeah, go ahead and roll a religion. God dang it. Ooh. Ooh. That would be it. Please don't touch me. 18. 18. 18. Flat. Something just aren't going to happen. It's a flat roll. Okay. <clears throat> so, as you reach out, the thought of ceremony in your mind you feel warmth inside of you, just a soft breeze going by, um, kind of the... You just hear a whisper the, in your ear, no. <laughs> <laughs> the traffic of people in, in, in the town and stuff, all that seems to kind of further away, just uh, zone out a little bit, and you seem to 
focus and all your emotions kind of calm down. You seem uh, tranquil in this moment. And uh, as you reach the touch, you kind of realize this is not something that you're going to be able to imbue onto others, more so a connection you're going to be able to further yourself okay. with something stronger than what you understand. So Bastion will chime in and he'll say, before we try doing things like that, how about I train you in the ways of Saren Ray and give you more knowledge in general first? That's really good. By the way, out of character, I'm not doing it until I know how to run on walls. I, so. I'm not saying, I didn't offer oh, you yeah, paladin yeah. training no. out okay, of character. Yeah. I, I didn't, yeah, I was just saying to teach you about Saren Ray and about religion in general. Yeah, sure. Okay. Out of, out of character, DM, <laughs> if, if he teaches me, can I get a dimension on religion? Oh, uh, we'll work that out. If you devote enough time, maybe. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't know, maybe you're a bad study. <laughs> Could be. Didn't stick around the monster very long. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but I learned in a very short time. <laughs> All right, so the journey. That's... Anything else in Twilight Zone? No, I think we should move forward. Okay. You don't have a baker. No. They make dish pies. Man. Gross. Yeah. Wow. Oh, like imagine being the fish head no. popping out. Yeah. yeah. It's Ow. staring right at you yeah. the Wouldn't whole time. Wouldn't that just be a pot pie with fish in it? <laughs> yeah, pretty I'm much. I'm pretty sure Theo would be going nuts for one of those right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 500 gold and fish pies. I'm just saying. He's a cat. That's a lot of pie. Oh, I didn't get a pet Theo either. Oh. You were running around knocking things off ledges, too. <laughs> <laughs> there was that. I don't think I should say that. I'm assuming, Princess, that we have places to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I already said that we should yeah. go forward. What's, what's a go. general consensus? Oh, head on out. Yep. All right. Onward, my friends. So, Tally ho. <laughs> you all start making your way outside of the main gate of Twilight Town. We enter in the city of rugged folk. And uh, Cinder and, and uh, Lochte and Dunn left behind in the city to rest up and recover after what just transpired. As you guys start making way, your way down the path, there is a group of people walking opposite side of the path heading towards Twilight Town. Okay. Um, the individual in front clad in this kind of red trench coat, kind of auburn hair, very cloudy co colored eyes, pale skin. Looks to you all. Eyebrows perked, especially at the princess. Ah, princess! Ah, you! <laughs> yeah, this person. Let's find out. Yes. No. No. How are you doing, the voice? The individuals behind him Hello. <laughs> all seem to be. Oh, they're ma He was male. Yeah, no. it's a man. Oh, okay. Um, individuals behind him. <laughs> there's about uh, nine or ten of them. They're all oh, wow. covered by ropes, trying to stay hidden. He seems, he seems much more easygoing with showing his parents. Shit. <clears throat> You all get back from another adventure. I suppose so, and who might you be? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, uh, pardon my uh, informalities. Uh, um, didn't mean to be impolite. But, uh, you may know me as the leader of the Liberty Regalia. Who? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. See. <laughs> describe his appearance again. Are you like they're wearing the red, red robe? Or like a it's not really a robe. It's more of like a, a trench coat looking thing. Okay. Uh, it, it, is, it is in red and blue, much like the robes that everyone else is wearing. He has auburn hair, cloudy eyes. Uh, on his belt, he's got a red... It's, it's kind of the length of a longsword, but it's got a um, 
Oh, basket helm? Yeah, it's got a grip like like a rapier would. Hmm. Um, I can't figure um, out if that's your Stanford voice or what voice. Out, out of character and the the regalia, the these are the rebel people. Yeah, freedom movement. Okay. You can tell sure. there's not a lot of them right now. I just wanted to break his confidence. Yes, yeah. I I remember. Well, that, that <laughs> cheesy grin is still across his face. So, oh, don't worry. You'll 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 know of us soon enough. Well, uh, but, uh, yeah, oh. yeah. Um. With the way you advertise, I'm pretty sure that you're going to fizzle uh, before uh, you even start. Uh, we'll change our methods soon enough. Anyways. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> mm, <laughs> Confidence. I just wanted to say, mm. we're genuinely interested in your adventure and hope that everything involving it goes very well. You seem to be more of a... Does this look honest or is this salt? It looks, okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna insight. Inside it. Yeah. You, okay. you two go ahead and roll inside. Where'd my die go? This man is very kind. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I'm not gonna learn anything. Nine. Twenty-three. Okay. He does seem genuine. Genuine in his responses. Mm -hmm. um, you can tell he's not really hiding anything. Behind that garden, other than ignorance, really. <laughs> Ugh, jeez. <laughs> okay. You, you seem to be much more open to things than your other two siblings. So, if you're on the throne, perhaps we could discuss things. I hope. Mm. I was gonna go like, wait, wait, wait. Are you the leader of the rebellion movement thingy? <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> no. What is your crime? Well, I'm not an exile. What, what crime are you talking about? Wait, you said what you're guilty. You you said what, you're is, you're me, what is the liberty? What does this even do? You have been judged. <laughs> I'm guessing they want to have like match effects. Uh, I mean, we, that would be bastard. Princess, we fight for the choice of things. We we fight for that uh, people should be allowed to decide for themselves whether or not magic is okay or not. Not, not be ruled over by some governing <laughs> force deciding that it's not okay. I was gonna say, so is this the whole movement? You and these other folks? I mean, we have agents all over. Hmm. Bale's gonna look down to you, princess, from his dragon and be like, are they bothering you, princess? I can handle myself. Very well. Arbel Ar Ar is gonna smirk you and be like, some, some, <laughs> some, resistance movement, some resistance movement to you, I guess. Huh. Ah. <laughs> no. Thoughts are being fine. I mean, it's, it's, it's picking up. You know. <laughs> ah, did you double your how... numbers from zero to one? <laughs> that's not how you. That's not how you. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, these could be allies. Oh, in the future. I mean, come on. Guys. What? I mean, I mean, what if these could be allies in the future? I know. I just that's think it's. Not, so, I just, it's so funny. That's, that's, that's not that's how you. If he came up to. It's mainly because he came up so cocky mm -hmm. and was like, "Hello." Yeah. <laughs> Like, all right. That's not uh, how you manage a rebel movement. Well, um, I don't think it's working well, out well. I'm not seeing any flame civil war or anything like that going on, so... I feel I mean, like this... <laughs> I mean... Like, no need for flames yet. I am very early into my journey. Um, mm. As are they. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. There's constructs, but I like them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's he kind of shrugs yeah, it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, machinist. Though I'm early in my travel journey, whatever, uh, I, I could foresee maybe talking to you a little bit more. Um, but that's, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> uh, we will have to see. Understood. Um, do you and I'll please. Just FYI, don't, don't, go, don't try to recruit members saying that I fully support you. I would never. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let me give you a piece of advice. I feel like you need a vice leader or like a vice president. I don't think you can vice manage leader. it <laughs> by vice yourself. Leader. 
Okay. Uh, well, I mean, feel I mean, like one of these. Feel <laughs> free to doubt <laughs> my capabilities. You, you seem very open, as your comrades do not. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Not everyone wants to be recognized as, you know, potential enemies to the throne. No. I would, I would ask. I mean, uh, yeah. Why do you? No offense, honestly. Why do you support uh, the princess over her siblings? Well, you've got Lorian, who. No offense, spitting image of his father. <laughs> no doubt about that, and his sister's so. such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Actually, this will bring a smile to me yeah. <laughs> for the first time since they left. In, in a while. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Um, yeah. Happy to hear we can talk later. Um, at this point in time, um, one of the shorter robed individuals will come up and whisper something in his ear. He'll look around at all of you. Care to share? Huh. Let the whispering happen. <laughs> no. We'll be like, one moment. And start. Oh, interesting. Look at all of you. Look at you. <laughs> really? Can I use my wonderful elven ears <coughs> to try and hear what they're saying? Boy, I don't think that's how that works. Now, no. is this, is this uh, person wearing a short robe or are they short? They are short. Do I recognize this person? <laughs> they are robed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was like... Care to share? Cadriel will approach the princess and the lean in. Yeah, yeah. What? I just, I just wanted to, to whisper because they were whispering. I felt like, <laughs> we, were, I felt like we were left out. So it's I, okay. I don't actually have anything to say, but. Well, and then he'll pass it on. He'll like raise an eyebrow at that. <laughs> I'll whisper in Cadriel's ear once we get to. To, to Lucian's, I have a surprise for you. Surprise? Surprise. Ooh, the princess has a surprise. Surprise! Surprise. Yeah, she looks excited. Yeah, well. Gabriel's gonna be having a bounce in his step the entire bit. She's going be like popping up every now and then. Well, it was uh, nice meeting with you. Uh, no, what was I whispering what? about? Oh, no! Uh, oh! Uh, care to share with class? Ah! Ah! Intimidating them or No, 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 no. I mean, like you said, we can discuss things later, right? It's hard to want to be allies with someone who mm -hmm. keeps secrets. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> you really <laughs> want to want to do that coming <laughs> coming from the throne. <laughs> what? Uh, what, <laughs> from what throne? What? Loton. What secrets? about Loton? I don't have any secrets. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> pretty. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god, just tell, just tell her already. Well, anyways, I'm sure we'll see each other soon. Again, very shortly. Interesting. I feel like they're gonna ambush us. Good day. All of them will teleport. God damn it. Boosh. <laughs> they were <laughs> mysterious. I yep. feel like they're gonna ambush us. I don't know just goes like. Perhaps we nah. should have asked them for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Straight up, right? Um, uh, shall we? Yes. Yeah. We sure are. All right. <laughs> we didn't get that person's name, did we? Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. Oh! Vince. Vincent. Crap! Vincent, Vincent didn't go? Did he lose an ear? No. Vincent has both ears. Our belt, One of them pierced. With the, with Wait, the are, you, are you kidding? Is that Vincent in, my, in the campaign that. Hey! We shall Sorry. see. We're talking about this game, man. Uh, Anyways. Wow, wow, wow. That guy's a jerk. So, y'all, do your trek towards what's hollow. Yeah. yeah. The rest of the day will go by. Um, seemingly uneventful, as opposed to the rest of the morning. Um, no mysterious strangers do pop up mm. this time around. Yes. So it's been three days? It'll take three days. Okay. How far have we traveled? You, you're, you finish up your first day, okay. you'll have your long rest. You'll have one more point of HP missing after the long rest. Oh. Yeah. 
I'm gonna summon Chuckles. So I get a chance to <laughs> no. find out why <laughs> this is happening. Um, sure. Roll insight. Insight? Yeah. The Chocobo. Are you sure? He probably won't Chocobo. be a, are you sure dead you will win this time. What? 25. Okay. As you remember your conversation with Aldenak and her mentioning of her being fed power when you take the weapon out into the world, she didn't really say where that power she got was coming from. Life force. Ooh ha ha. So before we start this long rest, most certainly coming from the weapon that you have a bond with right now. Okay. Yes. Chuckles. You summon Chuckles. I want to try and summon Chuckles. Okay. You... Who? My Chocobo. Roll. Oh. Roll perception. Oh my. Yeah. All of us. Roll perception. <coughs> All of us. Or... Oh, this is oh. a fourteen. Look around. Oh. As you 16. do this summoning thing. Um. Doesn't look like anyone's around, so you're clear to do your magic casting summoning thing. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah. guess I should have said that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you do so. Chuckles, instead of looking like the black, oozy, partly skeletal oh. um, monstrosity that he was on Elysium, <laughs> before you is a fully healthy mm. giant chocobo. <laughs> capable of a seven foot five construct being able to write it. Yay! Oh. So that's a big joke about. <laughs> hey, can I write it too? I'm small. Buff legs. I don't know. Yeah. It does not skip leg day. That's for days! Reference is so bad. I don't know if they'll fall off in a while. Um. So, yeah, Chuckbo summon. Did it just appear? <laughs> just a Chuckbo! Uh, no, 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 right. Chuckles! Bastard? Yes. Where, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said well, no one wasn't here. From my understanding, it wasn't here, and now it is. <laughs> if, I, if I remember correctly, you summoned a similar bird to this one. Yes. But it was awful. Well, this is Chuckles. <laughs> Chuckles was the last one as well. Well, but Chuckles wasn't feeling good that day. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a blank stare. Um, you need a board. <laughs> but yeah, that was a good one. Um, you just write him on the... Yeah. Plastic. Please. No unnecessary casting. Oh, but this is Chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Chuckles isn't necessary. It, I was gonna is your it horse is. necessary? Yes, it's carrying supplies. Chuckles can carry supplies. <laughs> but my horse is already doing it. He can carry me. He can carry a lot more than your horse. And me. <laughs> well, I also that. have a wolf and two constructs, so I think we'll be fine. Oh, Chuckles can carry all the animals then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, don't you think the horse gets tired? Would the princess it does. be? Well, they can ride on Chuckabo. I, I don't. Chuckles. <laughs> hey, can I have a half chuckle? Yes. Are Chocobos fluffy? No unnecessary exactly. casting. Okay. Especially right once we get I'm into the city. By the neck. Okay, I'll, I'll be sure to watch out next time. <laughs> it is the kind of does it cockatrice? Her? Yes. And okay. Nestle. It has the same stats as a cockatrice. Oh, oh, so no, 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 a little. So you waddling over at your, what, three foot gnome height? Yep. Mm -hmm. right. Gnome height. <laughs> you realize that the only good place to hug, you hug one of its. Um, Muscle Weirdly legs. buff legs. <laughs> um, that is it's, like a giant chicken. Now just imagine yeah. that with buff legs. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Please, someone it, draw it's that. It's hard and not as soft as you were hoping, but oh, you're hugging it. <laughs> so so happy. I mean, what you it's hug? got the feathers, but oh. like, it's not like oh, a okay. squishy pillow or anything. It's it, solid. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my. Hmm. What? That is a... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very anthropomorphized chocobo. Keyblade is awesome. Alright. Sexy chocobo. Okay. Keyblade's um, my OC. So, 
Yes. Uh, during this long rest, before I ran out of the bow, mm -hmm. um, I'd like to work on the schematics for a new, like, weapon. better weapon. Mm -hmm. Do a tinker roll. Just neat. Just both. Has horns. I don't have advantage, right? No. I imagine they're probably. 20 plus? Twenty-five? Yeah, twenty-five. Okay. Jeez. So, within this evening, as everyone's sitting around this <laughs> campfire eating, telling stories, joking, hugging chuckles, <laughs> you're, you're sitting there carving away at wood, and it looks like the handle to something, and you start building the metal frame for it out of the current supplies that you have on you. This idea just flowing in your brain seems like you're completely focused and dedicated to doing this. Uh, you're aware of everything that's going on, but you are in the zone making this. I'll go up to her and ask what she's doing. <laughs> making a thing. I'm gonna, <laughs> can I help I'm gonna try to write uh, chuckles. Sure. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull out my tinker tools. I'm gonna offer help. Okay. Uh, roll acrobatics. Me? Yeah. Okay. What's that, lady? Hop on chuckles. Um, 24 <laughs> advantage and 24. You. Hop up onto this chocobo. It <laughs> seems to be pretty willing to let you hop up on there. I have a mental thing with yeah. it, so it can tell me if it likes it or not. Okay. Um, it, you leap up and very gracefully land about where you're supposed to in order to ride this thing. Um, chocobo, like, feeling the immediate pressure on its back, is alarmed at first, but then relaxes, realizing <laughs> it's one of you. Okay. Chocobo's like, oh, thank God. Right. I, have, I, have, I have an innate in, in yeah, yeah, eternal you, bond you with it. It's very similar to Eclair. Yeah, but. yeah. Yeah. But a Chocobo version. Get an attack. Yeah. No, so I just imagine this huge beat. It, it is. Just catch it. Yeah. It, is it, a steed. it is a steed. Uh, it's a level two spell, find a steed. Oh. So all it does, I guess I can do mountain combat technically, but... That won't really help me too much. I was, I was gonna sleep on Chocobo. Huge, okay. like, this huge. Are we sleeping out on the red? Well, you guys are kind of off uh, under a tree. I maybe, imagine. maybe later. So so I can like later summon it as like a this, level this four spell. Is, I want to talk. Before we go to sleep, I'm gonna cast cast cordon cordon arrows okay. around us. That way we can be yep. protected if something what? comes. I wanted to talk to some of those people that were in front. I'm casting cordon of arrows so we can get rest and when it comes around us, then it'll get. Shot with an Vic arrow. Mixture of that, mixture of your alert with your trance thing, mm -hmm. and um, you're able to rest pretty peacefully. No interruptions. Mm -hmm. Player fly around doing that as well. Scott and Keep all around protection. You. Yeah. <laughs> um, Safety on the road. Doesn't seem like anything out of the ordinary. You guys are kind of in the swampy area of Loton right now. They're I mean, uh, herds of troglodytes trunkl in the distance, but they don't seem to be bothering you all. Um, various groups of nightlife creatures just kind of doing their nightlife creature thing. Um, Am I able to contact my people at this point? Let's say, wait until hollow. Okay. So what are we working on? You're currently helping her construct what looks like to be the handle for something, or perhaps like a large crossbow. Um, and there's this schematic that she's been working on, but you guys are able to um, try to construct a good base for it. Okay. Handle seems to be coming out pretty well for it. Out of character, oh. do you want to know what it is? I'll figure it out okay. as we go. Yeah. I'm um, so excited. I imagine and it's your first gun or something like that. Bastion, as you do your four hours of rest tonight, yes. um, I'll have to. Yeah, roll religion. Fifteen. Fifteen? I'm kind of sitting there, listening, waiting. Um, you don't make a whole lot of effort calling out mm -hmm. to Saren Ray uh, right now, having so many attempts been thwarted before that you Just do. Just trying to find inner peace. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're trying to find that inner peace, but you do feel all attempts 
somewhat th thwarted still. Okay. Unfortunately. I, th I suspect that it's because of the lack of religion in this country that I'm having so much trouble. That's, whether that's true or not. That's part of it. Uh, your, your recent endeavors and, and points of corruption are also... Do I still feel weak compared? Yeah, you don't feel quite right. Okay. Oh, speaking of which, how do I Every feel time. after that bite? Mm, right now. Right now you feel like loopy. Okay. You feel <laughs> a, little, a little loopy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't feel completely different. You do feel like kind of that... It's like a cold cough, not feeling a hundred percent, but uh, much better now that you're out of that area. Okay. Um, okay. So the next day, <laughs> don't get in your crowd. Not apples. <laughs> Cheese apples. Come the on. next morning, Jeez. you all wake up. Um, not really any surprises as you woke up. You guys were pretty well prepared for the evening. Um, eight, eight. My thing expired, I assume, right? Okay. The one that uh, I lose my phone leg. cast. Yeah, yeah. Yay! I'm a good Yeah. I just meditated on my last vision. Yeah. Just um, focusing on all that. You do, and it's it's the flash of images are are the same. The same. Um, I, I have no control over these. Mm -hmm. Just it, for now. I'll try for now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess that's what Kadriel would be doing is attempting to focus in on those. You, you make out a little bit more details, kind of like the, the garb of, of what the other seemingly angelic person is is wearing. The Maybe. female who looks similar. Yes. Yeah. Seems to be like. Uh, some sort of dark blue robes mixed with like patches of black in there. Excellent. That that's, that really helps. Mm -hmm. Okay. You all start heading off towards Hollow after you settle down, eat whatever you need to for your morning routine. Cups of coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it goes. Mm -hmm. Ale. The blood of our enemies. No. I'm, yeah, I'm still writing chuckles. Yeah. Morning. Morning brew. Yeah. Morning brew. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, back to, I'm sorry I'm checking one back for the morning. I'm sorry I'm chucking. Okay. <coughs> no better chucking. way to start the day. Chuckles. Yeah. I, I would have taken chuckles, so. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm still on the. You didn't sleep on how it. Long yes, does, I did. How long does Chuckles say stum summoned? Till I unsummon him, or he dies. And when they die, it's not permanent, it's just. That's I get to summon yeah. him again. Our, he looks like a chocobo. Oh, Our right. chocobo's like. The, the a chocobo. Round ball? Belonging to him will immediately slide out from under you and go to <laughs> like a cat. Wow. Yeah. Slide of feet. Yeah. <laughs> Brother, my legs are tired. Can I join you? I don't know. Is there room for two of us? Yeah, chuckle stats. <laughs> I can have one of my constructs carry you. What's the strength? <laughs> Six. It, oh my. <laughs> It looks like it's straining carrying you right now. So. What? <laughs> yeah. It's like belly to he's the floor. He's not meant to be prone. strong. He's just meant no, to carry yeah. me. I mean, yeah, he's carrying you. Um, much more weight put on him. Looks he like would it may, die. May, may push <laughs> him. Oh. Snap his back. We, we just started. I, I'm pretty sure you don't. Did you keep oh. that up? Yeah. yeah. I know you, brother. Your legs are tired. So. My, my ears pop down a little, but, like, in sadness. Oh. Like, oh. Yeah. You guys keep then continuing down this road. We'll have the next turn. On day two of your trek back towards Hollow, and uh, about halfway through the day, <laughs> you do notice a broken down carriage. The child initially <laughs> distraught. Layla will Perfectly. run up to said yeah. child. So will Cadrio. So will yeah. Loopy. It's Theo. Deja vu. It's premonition. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this and is deja will... vu for Theo all over again. She will pick yeah. up the young child and be like, is everything okay? No, no. Um, and you can tell he's got black hair, green eyes, like he's from the city of Hollow. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, uh, no, um, goblins attacked us. Help, my, my parents, they're kidnapped. Okay. Um, well, which, which way did they go? Roll inside. I don't know what the smell of goblins is like. 
23 again. 23. Do they have a fresh scent? Oh. Insight checking this child. <laughs> it does seem like there's something awry. It does seem mysterious that he was able to be left with a broken down carriage, able to get away while his parents were not. Something doesn't seem to match up, but it's uh, difficult to tell what exactly is going on. I'm like, hmm, maybe we should get help from Hollow. I want to survey the damage of this here carriage. Okay. Are there horses still attached to it? Dead horses? No. If one is dead, it looks like the other ran off. Okay. Mm, right. Um, it's right who, in front of you, you don't need to roll for Who are your parents? Yeah. Um, I thought you were on the investigation. He doesn't need to. Mm. Mr. and Mrs. Trask, we, we own a potato farm outside of Hollow. Um, Do you see which? Did you see which way they went? Yeah, in Peel Point, uh, off road, kind of towards. Um, by this point in time, the swamp, swamp-like environment of the path is a little bit less boggy-like, and there is some some shrub growth and, and trees and stuff. Peel Point. Towards a, a group of shrubs and I stuff. I have a quick question out of character. Yeah. Um, is this that same path where the eel and Loopy met those goblins before? Yes. Okay. What, what is your name, child? I'm Cedric. Is his last name Diggory? <laughs> ah, we will find your Cedric parents. I, I promise you that. Please do. Um, in surveying the damaging sail, um, there's one horse dead, one run off, one wheel of the carriage is broken. Uh, all the supplies seem to have been taken out of it. So, uh, Cadiel like, didn't even have any suspicion. You know, just takes it as it is. Um, no apples? What, what do we do with uh, the boy? I will stay with the boy. I think... I'll also stay with the boy. We have a ranger. Really dilate all of them? Yeah. Loopy, didn't we get, didn't we... Uh, we killed all but that one, and then the dragon came down and yeah, ate that one. Ate it. So... But I think we kept interrogating we him, and it? he said there were more of them. And then we found the one eating the food in the crate. It was also a mysterious city. Goblins are there, like rabbits, they just multiply. There and might have been nowhere. more? We just killed all the ones that were there. Uh, I was gonna be like, guys, um, we've been on an adventure already. I don't think that we should have a one that, shot, that one shot earlier. Um, I think that it would be appropriate if we could leave the constructs and declare. Hmm. With the boy. With the boy to protect him. Yes. I can have you Claire return the boy to Hollow. So, and Claire, constructs, staying with the boy. The rest of you all. Going to the direction that you, you want to yeah. have him return to Hollow, rather than keeping him out here. Well, we need to find his parents and bring them back to him. I think I, we can bring the parents back to Hollow. I, I would I would like to keep I would like to keep I wouldn't want to get rid of like I, I want I want to make a great distance between the boy and his parents. How, how far is it from here to the farm? Well, it's only been well, a Hall, day. was three days, traveled, and we've right? only gone one, one day. day yeah. So two so days. Still but two this, days away. This is a, well, but this is a farm outside of Hollow, so we don't know yeah, exactly how far the city, outside. Right? Like. That's yeah, how castles just are set outside up. Yeah, I mean the farms are just outside. <laughs> and there were no guards or any kind of protection there to help. Well, well we were two days away. We were traveling to Twilight Town to make a delivery. Mm -hmm. okay. Did the goblins make off with the delivery then? Make off with, yeah. They took all the supplies. And okay. your parents? Yeah. Well, they took me too, but I was able to get away. How? It was small and wiggled out of the rope that they tied while they were looking. Okay. You um, wiggled away from goblins? I know how that is. This is getting more and more suspect as we ask more right. questions. Right. I, I will. I, I will. want to ask him how he wiggled away from goblins. Stop interrogating the boy. You know, every second we waste. Yes. The parents. I, I agree. Uh, I will set the child down into the carriage. This sounds a little fishy. And we shall move forward. Mm -hmm. Ranger, you can track, right? 
Mm. Of course. You're, you're good at survival, which is basic. Oh, are you the beastmaster? Yeah. Well, no. I don't, <laughs> really ha- I don't have any tracking. Just uh, real. Just other I mean, general. Sur- survival check. That would be what that is. Well, right. Mm-hmm. You were saying? I'll use the divine sense once, really so. fast. Um, and so within sixty feet, I can sense celestial fiend or undead. You do not sense any of that around. Okay. I can't sense anything else, but thought I'd give it a shot. I'm gonna use my. Scent. I mean, you sense Tedriel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I use? I'm gonna use my scent just to see if I can smell the goblins and find a way, like get a path or whatever. Okay. Uh, roll survival. Eighteen. Okay. Um, goblins not known for their cleanliness. You're able to pick up on that stank pretty far away. <laughs> oh, that is. Um, stank, stank, stank. Yeah. So, so you would know where they're go- where they are. Mm-hmm. Would that? Right. I'm yeah. assuming. Yeah, you've got a pretty good All idea right. of where they went. All right. Um, I'm gonna cast Pass Without a Trace, so we can hopefully sneak through the woods and sneak okay. up on these goblins wherever they are. It gives us all plus 10 to stealth or plus whatever. Plus 10 to stealth, yeah, for, for, how ev- long? for everybody. Uh, you got the... Yeah, it's... it's wait, really, do I have, like, a little while, yeah. Yeah, it's not, like, it's not immediate. I thought it was, like, 10 minutes, but maybe no. it's more than that. Do I have, like, 17 stealth in this case? Well, I'm hoping if we're you know, moving pretty quickly through the woods that right. we can get to them fairly fast. Plus 17 stealth. Nice. I mean, if up to an hour. Up to an hour, hour. cool. Um... So I'll send uh, Chuckles in the air because he has a fly speed of 40 and have him start looking above. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not riding him. His buff leg is just dangling below him. <laughs> or they're just flapping up and it's like... They're, they're not dangling. I no, they're like flying. chassis. <laughs> I picture like a chicken. Who am I emotionless? I'm going to not speech the kid. Uh-huh. And ask him... Is that really how you want to have your first successful hypnotic hypnotic (sighs) speech go on a child? I I think that's a great idea. (laughs) Oh no. Is this something that we can see? (laughs) Like, damn. Something tells me. So, let's see. I think that'll be hilarious. (laughs) Save. Save. First time he's finally. Oh, has to pull up the monster manual. Uh I mean, you know, there's goblins in here. (laughs) I do smell goblins, though. That much is certain. I'm watching how far back you go. No, I'm I'll pull up PDF if you mean to. I love this. Yeah, you could read his thoughts. <laughs> if I wanted to, but Theo is in that mindset of... He doesn't want to see this as a child, so the same way he did when he was younger. Right, yeah, I bet he's pretty emotionally scarred. Mm-hmm. Bastion's on board with uh, helping the child because of what happened to you, so... I am suspicious that it's not. Thank you, Nikki. It's welcome. Hey, you are a, a wonderful saint. person. Mm-hmm. I know what it is, oh, but... It's my mistake. The oh, embodiment of Saren Ray right here. We're <laughs> fucked. Fills you with Cheetos. <laughs> Hail Cheetos! See? Oh, crap. You're good. I think I just found a Cheeto on the floor. Oh, gosh. Find him. Trash is over here. And over there. Just oh, fail fail prepared. Prepared. Yep. Yeah. Fails the save. Hmm? Fails the save. Speak away. Successfully hypnotically spoken. What okay. child? Um, upon reading it again, I've been doing it wrong. Okay. Oh. Um, oh my. I throw a persuasion check, and you beat my check. Okay. That's probably why I've been failing so much. Yeah. Oh crap. <laughs> Should we do it that way then? It's up to him. We already threw. Let's go ahead and do that that way then. Uh, now natural 20. Yep, you're good. So you will all watch as Dale comes up to this child. Just a couple motions. Eyes. Flare with arcane energy. Boom, da, ba, da, ba, ba. And uh, this child scary. kind of jolts back arcane energy flashing in his eyes as well. Matching veils. What are you doing, veil? Oh, it's not. 
Okay. It's very cinematic, very simple thing. Okay. <laughs> I love <laughs> cinematic, if you couldn't tell, so. <laughs> um, I was going to ask if he remembers anything else or if everything he's saying is true. Cadriel, just at, at the side of this, would have, you know, his hands would have started sparkling okay. with shocking grasp, just that angry that he's hypnotized a child. Hypnotized. But then we hear a voice not of the child yes. saying, it's, it's, Do the voice. Do the voice. Do the voice. I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, we're talking. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, sure. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, God. Smith trap, you all, you bastard. <laughs> Roll initiative now. Yeah. It's a. What? Catch me. I don't know. It's that area. Oh, oh wow. Sucks this up. Natural 20. Oh. Plus, uh, okay, 23. Okay. So close. Five. Five. Wow. I rolled six and thought mine was low. Woo, I'm not the last. As you all. Watch. I'm not 20. Alright, so. Yeah. Mm. Is that a shapeshifter advantage? You don't get to see because you don't get to know. <laughs> da, 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 da. What'd you get? A 20? A nat 20. Okay. I got an unnatural 20. Cadrio. You watch as this child morphs into. I rolled 25. I believe I'm under the princess. Unless you rolled something. What'd you get? Yeah. Oh, I think she's rolled five. Uh, I'm going to 23. Dragon D. 23? No. I'm rolling uh, six. Arbella. Marol, who's Marat? Marat, roll a d20. Alright. Yep. <laughs> you start Mother <laughs> of. Hand me your phone. Right yeah, before right. a battle. Yeah. 17. Right, so make a wisdom. Uh, then it would be Alex, right? Who's the same? the 20. Okay. Crap! You do not make a wisdom save. Because of the crit fail, I will make this uh, until the end of the session. The next NPC to cross your path becomes an obsession for you I rolled until a the nine. end of a long rest. Oh. Okay, so it's a, it specifies long rest. What'd you roll, Marcus? So, so it goes right here. here. Yep. Oh, I'm above Marcus. So I rolled a nine. Just put it right here. Front of us being All right. NPC. Uh, yes, actually. He well, obsesses over NPCs anyway, so it's not like it's anything new. Um, so, watch as the small. Okay, uh, DM is 13. Uh, Marcus isn't gonna be there. He'll be, I, I got seven. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so are these all the scores now? Bill will be between Marcus and I. Okay. 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 So we've got what again? I thought you rolled a five. Bill. Right. Okay. No, mm-hmm. twenty. I'm between no. those two. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna what's going on with the initiative up there? Anyways, yeah. well, that's getting figured out. You watch as this child morphs into a sea hag, seaweed for hair just kind of dripping down her slimy face. Uh, this grotesque body full of barnacles and rags. You've got some interesting you taste. Mmm, tasty. Um, and Arbella falls head over heels. My love. Yes. Love? <laughs> yes. Hey, actually, oh, it doesn't no. count. The next NPC you meet, we've already met this NPC. Mm, it counts. You had your phone out. No, <laughs> like the NPC who was going to be after. DM's rule is law. You have yep. fallen for a sea guy. Sounds about right, knowing you. Yep. <laughs> I love you so much, I want to punch your face. No. 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 Who is Nom? We don't know. That's not how love into... works. Oh, no. Is that what you're trying to do? Oh. Nom, nom. No, I'm I just put nom DS. What, what did you have uh, for initiative? Nick, what'd you have 15. for team? Okay. Um, oh. So DM is in between nom and Kit Kat. Okay. <laughs> nom. Yeah. Kit Kat too. <laughs> Beautiful. Excellent. Beautiful. I like our nicknames. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe I just said that. All right. Let's just so, go. Oh, Marcus is with Marcus. Uh, Princess! It works. Yes. I forgot. Ah! Okay. Princess! I see that. 
Uh, the princess will handbook? be angered yeah, and well. open her fan, and of course it will shoot the shoot the dagger. So yeah. roll attack. Roll attack. Yep. Shoot the dagger. D twenty. Yes. Okay, just making sure. I was confused. Yeah, D twenty. Thanks. Close my. It'd be dexterity, mon. Yeah, and proficiency. Fifteen. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Eighteen. Okay, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Is it a D four? Or no? It is D four? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Three. Three. Okay. Plus dex mod? Oh. Six damage. Okay. Um, and then she will go and she will throw her fan. Alright. Roll attack. Ten plus. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. That hits. Roll damage. Five plus three or plus three. I need to update my sheet because eight. it is eight. Okay. Where is the sea hag? Ow! I knew all are like within five feet of it. Okay. I had a map for the campfire grounds that you got to go to. I didn't have a map for the road. Sorry. <laughs> um. R C A M P. Okay. And you still have your bonus action, which you can use for your constructs. You can use to inspire someone else to attack. Whatever you want to do, princess. I'm gonna have my constructs attack. Okay. You have those, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. What do I do for that? Um. They should have their own stats and everything, so you roll attack on what they can I don't do. Have that. Make them up. <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> I'll just say that one of the, the one, the guy, or a masculine, probably has like a sword. Yeah, like a short sword or a long, long sword. Long sword? Yeah. Okay. So he's gonna roll the hit. And he's <laughs> not gonna hit. Okay. So this construct, all uh, rusty from the recent sea adventure, gets out the sword and then moves forward and then kind of like. Stops right there, you know, like gears kind of clanking against each other. Doesn't quite get a swing off. <laughs> no, that's okay. The and then him. I'll end my turn. Yep. Dragon dude. <laughs> Dragon dude. Alright. The only person to get their actual character's name was Arbella. <laughs> um. Gonna swing out. My long sword. Oh, Normal long sword. Okay. Um, you do so, me. and oh, as sorry. you grab this long sword and swing out, you realize it is not your normal long sword. Oh! You grip, you feel the cold, and you look down and it is that weapon. What happened to my other long sword? It's there. It's encased with the ice. Whenever you try to. You get the feeling whenever you try to grab for another weapon, this is the weapon that enters your hand. Oh my! Okay, so I don't get to use my kaboomy thing. Alright. I don't know. You're the one making an assumption. Okay. Um, Anyone play Bloodborne? Yes. That reminds me of this. <laughs> we're we're right playing now. a campaign mm. of Bloodborne on Thursday. Yeah, they're playing a Thursday oh, Bloodborne campaign, yeah. I bet that's great. It's pretty fun. I like it. It does feel very video gamey, which mm. is appropriate. Mm-hmm. Dragon dude. Okay. <sighs> Twenty-eight. That definitely hits. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Yay! Hey. Oh, 
mine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's there for a reason. <clears throat> Gracias. Can you use this to represent the hag you're currently annihilating? That is 15. 15 damage? Yep. Okay. Are we technically flanking? Do I or do I not get that? Yeah, we're, the we're all surrounding. The, my shotgun yeah, release you, thing. Yeah, you do. Okay. So 21 altogether. Oh, that is hefty damage. We're missing. So you all watch for the first time as he pulls. A longsword, very eerily similar to what Magdalena's rapier looks like. Pretty good. Um, Frost mist coming off of it. Much okay. like hers. Since it's already out, um, hold with two hands, I'm going to do my blade dance with it. Okay. Do we have enough palms on the thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kenny. You'll have Arbella. Okay, this hag is mine. Arbella? Oh god, he's dead. Oh god, <laughs> you knocked Theo off the board. How does he? He's dead! I'm We're meteor. missing someone. Okay, so. The hand of God. There's eight of us. The blue pebble is um, Veil. I think we're missing Layla. There should be. I'm gonna need that. I regret my decision. <laughs> the wrong guys. <laughs> you can be um, the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> for my for my extra attack, uh, I crit, and then for my crush dance, which said I'd use my minor to or my bonus to do mm -hmm. if I do use that. Um, Thirteen plus. Um, be nineteen. Bennett's, yeah. Well, oh, 19 damage, because... No, 19 crit. to do damage. To actually do it. 19 to hit. Oh, okay. My extra attack was the crit. Okay. And then my crush dance... 19 hits, yeah. Was, okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So, this 1d. 4. 5. 6. 8. 14. Crap! 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Um, oh, the first one was, what was the original? 21. 21. 21 was my first attack? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that would be 42, because that was a crit. Okay. Um, okay. Do I keep going? No. Okay. So, your longsword reaches out and just severs this thing from from torso up to the uh, joining of the arm, just right, cleanly in half. He killed Senpai. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He killed Senpai. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and this hag just topples, uh, bits and pieces falling to the ground. Gross. Um, this long sword covered in blood. You all watch as the blood slowly soaks into the blade like a sponge. Oh. And Vale, you feel a little bit better <gasps> as you restore one max HP. <laughs> okay. Bloodlust. I had a sneaking suspicion. Did, did he become a vampire? Oh. Um, uh, would Adva be triggered by the fact that her senpai just died? Her first love. Her yes, first love. her first love. Your princess's <laughs> first love. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not my character, so. Yeah, she would be because okay. the thing happened. Then you share that. Okay. Um, the fish. You killed her. You killed her! She was beautiful! She was a boy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's a young boy. She's a girl. Oh, that was a girl. Yeah, or a girl. Layla's going to go ahead and look through the carriage. Okay. Look through the carriage? Just, yeah, Gabriel sorry. is still distraught that he's never been tricked or deceived before in yeah. such a manner, so he's just like... Mm. 
Then I brought counts to oh, my mistake. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Theo is pretty. Uh, he looks through the carriage. It does seem like all the supplies have been made off with. Um, there's a couple bank blankets and stuff left in in the carriage, but not much else. <coughs> Should we use some rope? Do you want those blankets? Do you suppose that the actual owners of these characters are around? I was going to suggest that we look around to see if there's more trouble because this is clearly going to possibly happen again. We should take care of it. Did I by chance happen to gather how many goblins there were? Mm. No. That would take some pretty hefty sniffing ability <laughs> and that's to be able to know how many goblins. Oh yeah, you knew there was goblins, that's right. Yeah. Can I that clearly wasn't a goblin. Has so. Chuckles seen anything in the distance? I mean, he sees a campfire, yeah, and about half a mile from you guys' okay. direction. So I'll, I'll tell everyone about that and say there's, there's a campfire that Chuckles can see. I'm going to sniff the carriage just to get a sense of who was in there. Like, how many scents there were, see how many people we need to save. You can get three separate scents, or six different four, technically, different scents. You, you have a bunch of smells. I know. Mm -hmm. It's it's hard to be specific with smells and particular mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Seems okay. like four. Could be twelve. You're not really sure. People Maybe were here. 12. People are not here. <laughs> it smells like rotten garbage all around. <laughs> Should we go take care yes. of this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Sure. Let's go um, do that. So yeah. okay. let's go sneak through the woods. Is there anything else on the egg? Barnacles, rags, <laughs> hag claws. Claire's gonna start eating her. Oh, oh gross. Roll a con save. Ooh. <laughs> Cause you said barnacles. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Indigestion. Upset stomach. Diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> that is a heartburn, nausea, indigestion. Heartburn, nausea, indigestion. indigestion. Hold on, hold on. I want to know what happens to Eclair. As Eclair starts chowing down, she gets about um, three hearty chunks in, and immediately her stomach starts rejecting what she's eating. <laughs> like, she's currently just. Just doing like a like a, a cat yeah. a a hairball say, gag uh, reflex here. I just like imagine trying not to a big drag and just can whole body yeah. convulse. Oh. Did she show? Bill's gonna be like, just because it smells like the sea doesn't mean you have to eat. <laughs> just like magical rot. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. So okay, let's get going. Okay. Okay. Nice. Let's run. Um, stealth checks all around. I'm going to <laughs> plus 10. Everybody gets plus, plus 10. Everybody gets plus 10. I'm going to take that long sword out of my kaboomy crit. Whatever you call it. The sword That's sheet. That's going to be 20. 29. Put it on the other side and then put that actual sword. That's going to be at 20. 26. Summit every time. Every time 25. you try to grab a weapon, that's the weapon that forms in your hand. So yeah. as you can see, your longsword is currently in the sheath. And how the the icy mist longsword, uh, Azeroth went to Wrath, how that was able to project doesn't seem like it came from the actual sheath, sheath itself. More so, it was your mental connection with it. It was, that's what you wanted it to do. That's what it did. Mm. I wanted to throw ice blades. <laughs> That'd be scary. Okay. Uh, Alright, so. So we've already investigated the carriage and yeah. everything. Yeah. Yep. Yes, we're okay. moving forward. Okay. We're we'll sneaking through the forest. Yeah, stealth checks all around. 29. So can we talk while we. Oh, and you get plus 10. Like, that that oh, was okay. plus 10. I rolled a 19. Okay. 19. That's it. Okay. Can we talk as a stealth? Okay. No. Okay. We're trying to go battle. Okay. <laughs> 29. Okay. Um, you guys Same are... Uh, sneakiest motherfucker. Yeah, you guys are sneaky as hell. And... 
New map. Suddenly, Iranis just disappears in the thin air. It's almost. <laughs> you guys Pete, have Taylor, a hard time. Misty step. And I have advantage in the force, so. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Pretty much I can't. So, you so guys tundra elf. are currently behind the struggle there. Over there, we are all day. Yes, I suppose. Something's waiting in the bushes for us. <laughs> Good Something's waiting in the well. bushes of love. There's sort of that little thing. Ah. The blue thing. Oh, uh, here, I'll take the blue thing. Do we get any sense of spacing? Mm, yeah, it's about 20 feet from the campfire. Got it. Um, and then. As you guys stealthily peer over the bushes, you see about five. No. It would be about four different goblins out there. Negan and Lucy. What looks like goblins? Why should you say Negan and Lucille? Reasons? <laughs> the Arthur shall be mine. Mmm. <laughs> oh, on the fire, you said? Yeah. Um, Do we see one kind of over by the tree, doing a lookout. One um, by the standing by the box. Two sitting by the fire. How far would you say we are from the... 20 feet. Within. Okay. Are there, there are two people sitting by the campfire. Humans tied up. Humans tied up. So I assume mm. this thing with our bell uh, pass uh, pass right. Yeah, you're good. Yay! Considering it's dead. Until you grab your phone again. Who dead? But you have it now, so. <laughs> yep. Two pieces. We're we're just putting an end to that right now. <laughs> All right. They're good things. I good. Think. So. Good things. Don't destroy. At least in your view, they're good things. So can we attack? Are we going off the same initiative? I mean, they don't know you're there. Oh, so we can hey, surprise them. You guys them. are stealthy. Yeah. By the way, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna. Like, I could. Notion oh to, no, that's a bad no, idea. Notion to around us, be like. You're gonna throw a bomb. Yeah, but that's shoot, a bad idea. Shoot, man. Basically. I, I'd like to avoid killing if possible. Someone yeah. help us. Is this Bastion saying this? Are yeah. these goblins that we see? Bastion, no. Yep. Unfortunately. I don't think that's or, gonna be an option. Can we not just trick them? No. Goblins aren't easily tricked. They're easily Jeez. intimidated. Four goblins and two people tied up. I guarantee What's this most is important probably is that not we get those people to safety. Hey, who's ta uh, who speaks goblin around here? I mean, we have numbers. Um. <laughs> probably. Is again. goblin the actual language? Yeah, yes. it is. <laughs> no. Unless we take them prisoner, turn them in. Um, Yes. They will likely prey on more travelers. So. Yeah, we will go off of that initiative, but you guys have a surprise round, so you guys just get to boop, go and then DM, yeah. Start, start, so. start bailing okay. on them. Okay. Let's go ahead and take our... So are we starting from where we left attacks. off, or are we starting over? No, we will start over. Okay. Yeah. Just don't erase this then? No, yeah, keep it. Okay. Sneak attacks! Felt like Bastion would have said something. Yeah, no, understandable. <laughs> So we're going in that order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Best princess. Princess. Yeah. My turn. It's your call, princess. I'm gonna. I want to sneak forward. And right here. Yeah. Roll stuff real quick again. Does she still have the plus ten? Five. We're still within an hour, right? Yeah. 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 We went half mile through. Yeah. So that's 17? Yep, you're good. Um, and then she is going to... Uh-huh. She should take out one of the side ones. So I was going to do the one that was in front of me because it was closest and I could throw my fan at it. I don't have that much of a range. They were only 20 feet from us when we were here. Yeah, I'm probably at 10 now, so... Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw, open my fan and throw it. Okay, at the goblin there. Yeah, so okay. do I do the dagger damage again? Yes. Or is it, okay. Well, let's make it once per long rest. Okay. Um, so just go ahead and throw your fan. Okay. Oh, I'm Do I have proficiency too? Yeah. Eleven. Eleven 
does not hit. Oh. Oh, cool. You spooked him. Fan comes back to you. He was past his hair. Starts looking around. <laughs> wondering what that was. <laughs> back his face to you currently. It reminds me uh, of a goblin from a blue um, moon. I'm not just... I'm gonna end my turn then. Okay. <laughs> the you. Do you want to walk that way? Walk that way. Well, seeing as she attacked, I'm assuming it's free game. Um, so I'm just gonna dash forward and I'm gonna go for that far one. That one? Yeah. Fail just flies right past you. I mean, could be literal or just mm. running really fast. Either way. <laughs> um, and I'm going to do the longsword thing again. Okay. Um, 24. That hits. Um, do you want me to just do all three attacks? I, you're... That one attack will ploop you plenty. <laughs> They're goblins, not much health. Okay. Um, so, you, yeah, do do like one, well, what is your mod? Five. Yeah, so, and you get two dice at least with it. Yeah. Uh, you, you get it. It's dead. Yeah, it is dead no matter what. Okay. Um, um, how far was that? What, 20, 20 feet? Yeah, like maybe 30, 30, 30, 20 yeah 25. 25? Yeah. Okay. Can I get to that other one? To finish my movement and do an extra attack? And It'd be like uh, another 15. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, crap. Go ahead. I'm going to do that. Finish my... I'm going to do my extra attack. Uh, watches Veal silently just... <laughs> eliminates one goblin. Takes out another. Uh, 22. <laughs> nice. That hits. It dies probably. Ah, uh, yeah. He gets all the candy. <laughs> Would you want to share, sir? Hmm. Whoever grabs that can have it. Mm -hmm. So. It's a mint cookie one. Ah, I'll take it. Yeah. Never mind. What's this one? <laughs> Regular chocolate. Yeah. Arbella. Yeah. It, it's just kind of like Arbella's turn. You're just mm -hmm. flying through, yes. just cleaving these goblins in half. Arbella's just gonna this just show up with this anything? goblin. And this one's Arbella. The, the blood red that red should one. be no, flying off of this Which blade one? is just okay. soaking I'm in. Yeah. Okay. I was not. You're this one. Yeah. He's not done, guys. Hold on. Oh, okay. I was gonna have Eclair move forward and. They're, those are the people tied up, right? Give me a yeah. Eclair. Yeah. And I'm going to have her kind of block them and protect them. Okay. Uh, eclair vomits on them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do the same thing you said you would do? Yeah. I would do that and then roll for attack. Roll for attack? I try not to steal a princess. <laughs> um, 19. 19 plus 5. You, you're okay. good. Roll damage. 2d6, okay. Four? Four? Not you you three. always target their corner. Every time. Two. Six. Six. Plus five. Eleven damage. Yes. You you punch a solid hole Ooh. in the skyline. Yay. Anime. Oh. Mm -hmm. Bathe the fire in blood. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and actually, yeah, the hole that you punch out ends up in the campfire and you start hearing a sizzling. <laughs> Ooh, that's it, right? <laughs> it's the mm. I can eat this while dying, right? Mm. And I'm gonna spook the other goblin. Can I do that or say spook them? Well, spook why, why? Just, just no. Stop. Can, can you just say boo? Boo. <laughs> or you could use just the rest of your movement and your extra attack to get it. Oh yeah, I yeah. have an extra attack. Yeah, I'm gonna go to it. Roll again. Nine plus five. Fourteen. Thirteen. Fourteen, yeah, fourteen. Just barely hits. Go ahead and roll the damage. Uh, where's the these? Oh, yeah. Six. And four. You want to give that to Hannah? Just <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> this other goblin. This chunk goes oh. into the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this the time the fist watch. coming down. Who wants this? Caving the face in. Uh, almost unrecognizable blood splattering across the tree. Okay. That was fast. Internal. 
Okay, can I, can I move now? Is it open is it, movement? Is it over? Can, is this over now? Yeah. Okay, um, <laughs> Hands Layla's gonna off. move forward to the people tied up and help untie them. Me? No. Remembering what happened last time, I'm gonna go to the boxes them. and start opening them. Okay. I'm climbing inside. Yeah, I'm go, I'm gonna, gonna last time I fought herself. goblins, there was a goblin in the box. <laughs> so, I'm gonna approach Rio and so I know what's her name as well. So you all check out the boxes. Um, two of them seem to be filled with potatoes, the other one with various supplies like metals, jewelry, stuff like that. You need this. Um, I'm gonna steal it though if it was from a shipment. Ah. Uh, the two sitting by Eclair start chuckling. Oh, jeez. Oh, God damn oh. it. I was like investigating they them. Stand up, their form changing. Much like the child did before. Oh Two my. more sea hags stand before you. With that, the illusion around the area drops. Behind the boxes are a pile of five goblins. A pile? Yes. <laughs> like they're dead. You look dead? around at the bodies. Goblin orgy. God, no. <laughs> no. Don't do this! <laughs> Don't do it. God, I you two! Don't do this! In you idiots! Those were not goblins you were killing. Oh shit. Oh no! Oh. You done messed family up. Members. Oh. <laughs> Fucking told ya. <laughs> Does the bloodlust thing work again? Yeah. So I get my other one. <laughs> <laughs> I am upset now. <laughs> Sadly, Vail is unaffected at all. I think we're not fighting three hags. This emotionless sucks. Yeah. yeah Bastion's quite uh, dr uh, distraught right now. Eclair is horrified by it. Hmm? I'm a killer! No, so I lost. Eclair's got two hags next to her. Hit points uh, on my max. Okay. So we'll, we'll continue with the initiative order where we left off. But so, uh, yeah, there are two sea hags currently so, uh, by Eclair. Uh, I'm sorry. You were there. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what? Um, okay. Just Wait, is, is there a Dead real? Is there a <laughs> child among the dead? Don't. Don't. Do you want to know? Yes. Well, that tells be, me. Yeah. I think it'd be obvious either way. Oh, who, yeah. killed the, who killed the kid? A child whose face was smashed in and blood. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yes. That's on your conscience. So do they smell human uh, now from the fire yeah. roasting? The goblin smell you were smelling. <gasps> Where was the pile of currently brought in goblins behind those boxes? Where was the boy? On the, on the tree. tree where You're you right next to him. Where, yeah. I'm gonna fall to my knees and try to heal <laughs> them. Heal that face up. The, the boy? Yeah, I'm, okay. Cure, I'm gonna, cure wounds. Uh, I'm gonna play the terror on you too. No. No. Okay, let's see what the immediate. I uh, said, so we're yeah. about to really do we all have this. Hags. We're the hags. To Besides, Alex, it's hags. his turn, so yeah. oh, we can is, actually do seven. this. This is in five. Twelve uh, healing. So you heal up the wounds. You have the face oh. kind of like huh. uncurvatured oh. <laughs> the face. Oh. I'm just, oh. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> a little, little bit of bone popping. Live. Oh! Blood. Spurts from the nose. Doctors um, deal with worse. Yeah. <laughs> Your the wounds seem better. <laughs> the life does not seem like it's Dead. in this body uh, anymore. No resurrecting. Cadriel is about uh, to be unleashed. Spell. Or else do we deal with someone else? Ooh. I think that's my turn. Okay. Okay. Don't I don't know. That's a rage. Well, that's an action. Yeah. Don't bounce the table. Bonus action for, for moral distraught. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty cat. Realization. The Can old. we all get a point of rage? Oh. No. We got no. no barbarians in this part. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're, what's with this one's barbarian? Theo's not at all. Barbarian. Who's uh, <laughs> Kit Kat? Oh. Theo. Yeah, Kitty Theo. Cat. Okay. Theo not amused yet. Or Chicago. So, which one is closest to me? That one? You're, you're this? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna walk up with my claws and claw them to death. <laughs> yes. Do it. We're the villains. <laughs> Fifteen plus. Where's my unknowingly? I just realized we got tricked. Did you not? Oh, I said was my not new one then. I made PDFs. I didn't 
Okay. Did you need me to I didn't I realize. I stayed upset. I've been not them. Okay. my whole life. Sorry. Um, I mean, I just use these as a basis. We don't need to kill these things. Everything that was on yeah. there. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. I'll get the stats from you this later then. Awkward. But did you change your stats? I did not because it was on the PDF. I thought you were going to email that to me. Change on the PDF. Okay. Um, Anyways, we'll, we'll work that out after the session. Okay. So fifteen okay. plus what is it? That'll hit. Okay. And what was it? 1d10 plus my strength and dex mods for my claw attacks? These are just your body claws? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, it was really good because of the alienthropy. Yeah, that's in your um, alienthropy uh, character thing. I believe yeah, so. Yeah, it is actually crazy strong. Huh. Mm -hmm. If he just gets like a 1d10 claw attack, that's, that's crazy. Plus strength and dex mod, 1d10. I'll say it'll be in a It'll be a special action to do it. Special so action? You can't just do extra attack layering on top right. of it. Okay, no problem. Okay. 1d10. That's 1d10 plus 7 strength. plus 2. Like 1. 10 damage. 10 damage, okay. Pretty hearty hit as your claws sink into the sea haggis face. Your kind of pinky nail peeling off some of her grotesque lip. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Yum. Mr. Yum Yum! DM. God yeah. damn it. Oh. Well, I guess a DM stash for Demo. Let's see what a sea hag can do. Sea hag's looking around. Um, okay, give us a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Barnacles. Ah, <laughs> oh, tartar sauce. You're the D4, yeah? Excuse me. I have a burrito. Yeah, I'm the D4, but oh, am I the immediate threat to the hag? <laughs> one yeah, hag. Like, uh, one hag will run over to our Bella. Do I get the D4? Eclair, Eclair and Kadriel will have opportunity. Eclair has opportunity. God damn it. They're, they're yelling, how dare you Can I use a kill cantrip? Him? They were our family. Cantrip for attack? Opportunity. Do you have like a, a special thing that lets you do that? Or I think I think opportunity attacks are melee basics. Sure. Yeah. You try out that badass pole. Yeah. yeah, you haven't used your pole yet. Because I only got plus three <laughs> to hit. <laughs> but it's awesome. Thank oh! You. Good job. Beautiful. Tripper. 1d8 plus 1d6. Right. Sorry, I'll take it. 7 plus 3, 13. 10. 10 damage. Wow. And he said 13. Wow. 13 damage. Just fuck. So, this hack sprinting towards Arbella takes. Um, Eclair takes a good chunk of her shoulder out as she's running by. And she's still hobbling by. Kadriel. <laughs> Taking a whack at her torso, beating her. <laughs> she stops in her tracks, but just in front of Arbella, so she can still make her attacks. But she took some hearty hits making that run. So, can, uh, the, does Arbella have a evasion or anything? Does he use those key points? Um, on your bonus action on your turn, you can depose that. Yeah. All right. So get disadvantage on his attacks because of the two very hearty hits. Nope. Seems dead set on going specifically for Arbella's face. Claws out. <laughs> going for your face, bro. Oh. Gonna do to you what you uh, did to that kid. So. Multi he was my brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Shut up. Was that two crit fails? Two crit fails. Oh no. Oh, thank god. And it was a two or two. two. No. <laughs> I think our Bella should be trying I'm to pretty sure that's dead. <laughs> I think our Bella should just go boom! <laughs> just explode this thing. So, as this hag takes a mighty hit from Eclair, and a, I'm going to retcon your hit was not actually on the torso, it was at her legs. Oh. As he stumbles and falls <laughs> and takes both claws to her eyes, <laughs> blinding herself. Ah, oh, jeez. Son of a bitch. Which would be a total of 20 damage to herself. 
Wow. She dead yet? No, she's screaming in she, pain. She, yeah. Mm, she's not looking good. I was gonna kick her. <laughs> Throw her in the fire. The yeah. other one will look towards Theo, who just attacked her. And you, her eyes will, will flare this black arcane energy, and you will make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Someone says proficiency. Let me see. You have advantage. Oh, yes, I do. Oh. 18 total. 18, you're good. <laughs> Nothing happens. Um, Nom. <laughs> That's me! Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> nom. No. Loopy. I have a quick question before I do this. Is that fire bigger than me? <laughs> can I see? Taller. See? You can see through, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the fire. It's it's not drawn to proportion. Shoot <laughs> my chain whip through it at the hag and try to pull her back. Into, into, the the fire, fire. into the fire. Mm -hmm. Roll attack. My idea was to tail Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, thank God. Alright, you're not even doing oh, no, a strength God. save. Alright, crit. Yeah. yeah. So roll damage. Don't hit a clown. <laughs> 1d10. So as your chain shoots out, it wraps around, then punctures <laughs> through her neck. Oh. Get over it. 20 damage. Okay. Pour into the fire. Does she get continuous damage then from the um, fire? Then you yank. You don't even have to do a strength save. She is yanked into the fire and oh, you do a d10. Another one? Yeah. You know, the funny thing is you didn't do that with your new die. Eight. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll double that because of the crit. Because, you know. 16. Well, I haven't gotten That's... to use my pink ones in so long. I so just tag is so just flailing on curse. fire in the camp. Uh, it does not smell good at all. Does it, is it continuous fire damage, though? Once she starts her turn, yeah. Well, she's okay. on fire. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If it's getting pulled away from me and it's moving, do I get to. Whoa. Do we no. need Theo? <laughs> I'm, to... I'm not going to let that combo happen. Yeah. <sighs> You break the system. Yeah. <sighs> but she's on fire looking really rough. Sebastian, don't say it. Ash. <laughs> I was like, don't say your real name. Bastion. Um, Bastion doesn't give a crap about the sea hag right now. Mm -hmm. So he will go to one of the nearest bodies and pick it up and also cast Cure Wins. Out of hope. Yes. On what? Go ahead. On one of the, the one of the bodies. Oh, okay. You go to one of the bods. Nearest body being the body of, of what looks to be the mother of the family. Um, pick it up. Um, go ahead and cast your cure wounds. It's been forever since I've done this. I just roll a d20 to see if I successfully do it or no. One you d8. just get to do it. I get to just Actually, do it. Actually, I oh. will have you two roll d20s though. Both of us. Real quick. Yeah. Nineteen. Take that 15. Okay. Um, and then, what is Cure Wounds? Let me see. It's a D8, D8 plus, plus, plus spell costing mod, I believe. Yes, so that'll be plus 4. Okay. It's 6. Okay. Um, this one taking a serious wound from. We killed that one right there. This one? Er, Arbella. Arbella killed Bull uh, too. Uh, oh. Yeah, this one. This one having the center of it pushed out and into the fire. Uh, you do your best to peel up some of that wound. Um, it slightly closes, but not really all the way. Um, the body's pretty beat up. It's a body. Yeah, it is a corpse. Okay, fast turn. Okay. Very much, uh, not much else I could Aronis. do. Aronis. Oh, all right, I'm back up a little bit. And take a shot. Okay. That one's one. Oh, that's right. That is alive. Yeah, they're both barely hanging on. For 27. Oh! That, yeah, that definitely hits. A little damage. Mm -hmm. 11. You too. Like the color. Okay. That's enough. That's it wasn't uh, for the shiny, they look like wood. <laughs> that hag falls limp, dead. Arrow sinking into the back of the skull. Just You're not going to eat your prize. prize yeah. Right? Alright, um, I'm going to use my extra attack to um, It'd be hard to shoot the ones in the true. fire. Okay. Roll. 
We should have interrogated her. Yeah, that definitely hits. I think we should have interrogated for it. Uh, 12. Easier to wait. 12 damage. <laughs> that one, also. <laughs> the the cool. burning oh. screaming silences as that hag falls dead. No more hags. No more hags. Thank you. I still can't believe that. I think I just found out that the edge of a dice pen is that was all so wavy. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they I are. Just, I just found that out. I'm just mm-hmm. glad my pink dice like me again. <laughs> so now they, 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 needed, they needed a break. They okay. did. Okay. So, here you are. Some bodies. So. Some goblin bodies. Some pizza bodies. Some hag bodies. What, what, is, what is the state of the goblin body? Is like. It, Looks like they've been there for a couple of days, all piled up together. Sick. Yeah. I... So those boxes Heal disappeared the father. and the bodies appeared. Heal the father. No, the boxes were <laughs> there. The bodies were there. Okay. The bodies, right. the bodies were body. not visually there. Okay, so the boxes didn't go anywhere? No, no. They're, they're still there. Okay. That would have been horrifying because opening oh, the boxes. It's uh, a lot of potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Two boxes. It was, it was <laughs> definitely going to go back to the boxes and look at these, these gems. Uh, it's like scrap metal and trinkets and like some um, shoddy jewelry. I was gonna yeah. see if they were from anywhere to give it. Layla is going to speak to Cadriel and Bastion and be like, uh, I think that that we should give them proper burial and not just leave them here. I agree. It's like general stuff that was made from the forge in Hollow. From some yeah. sort of shipment that they may have put on yeah. with the shipment of potatoes, just two birds, one stone kind, okay. of, kind of trip. I don't accept that. You don't accept that? No. They, they were innocent. They can be raised. Resurrected. We are in Lochin. I understand that. But... Uh, One of the princess, first things... you were the first to act. You... We, we should have... We should have thought... I cannot accept that. We were the cause for these innocents' deaths. We We weren't the cause. I do not deny that. I do not deny that we had a hand in their death. We yes, we did have hands in their death. uh, In their death, but you killed two of them personally. I know I did, and you and I feel bad about it. But and I was prepared to attack as well. Mm Mm-hmm. Would you have attacked if I would not have attacked if we had chosen the diplomatic route? These are citizens of Loden. Yes. We should do everything we can. Perhaps next time we can try diplomat diplomacy first and we can try to prevent something of this from happening again. But to attempt to bring them back at this point would be a monstrous act. Even Bash. I recognize that. Bastion, maybe you should pray that Saren Ray. I can offer a prayer for their salvation, yes. but I cannot, and give them a proper burial, but I cannot do more. Vale will be agreeing with the not you don't have raising emotions. them yeah. aspect. That is... Do you have resurrection spells, Alex? No, only healing. Right. No, I'm totally on your side. Even I don't even know if I get one later on or something, but you'll have the opportunity for one. You. Um, it's different if it's my allies who are right there. I think, and I don't have that power right now, anyways. Well, so you're telling me nobody in all of Loton has the power to no, hmm. unless that person was because, right here right now, it wouldn't make a difference. Not because they don't exist but because mm-hmm. they are not allowed. Yeah. Is that the reason? Possibly. <laughs> By the time we found Magic anyone... of all nature. Magic has the ability to be destructive. It also has the ability to heal. Magic. Evil magic is what caused this to happen. Yes. We fell prey to it. So did these innocents. Um, however, good, the good magic can also bring back, bring back, heal. Yeah, I, I understand that. I, I'm not absent to the fact that magic can be used for good. 
I have witnessed it with Bastion and yourself. Hmm. But magic can also be used for evil, and it was used for a great evil in Loten, and it has caused major problems, and that is part of the reason why magic is illegal, along with the fact that the idea that magic takes from our planet itself. Princess, I have the blood of two people in my hands. If magic, I would rather prefer magic be legal if we could resurrect the record. Okay, but, well, oh this well. is irrelevant to our problem now. We can correct ourselves from this learning experience. No Wait, one what? in Loten has the ability or the legality to do what you want to do. You cannot do it yourself. And I don't like the idea of carrying dead bodies of innocents around with us. <laughs> it would be an insult to them. Yes, to parade their bodies around. Even if for a good cause. I suppose. It would be best to lay them to rest and let their souls move on while we still have the great opportunity. If we are to do so, I would recommend we begin. Because yeah. we're already behind. I'm going to take Slash and Bash and start just, like, digging. Some things. Then all I ask is a promise that next time. Yes, next time, absolutely. But the thing is, is some things are more important than being on schedule. <laughs> like, he's, emotionless, he's doing a good job, I like it. Yeah. Not jumping in and killing things hmm. is important as, as well. As you did just... two of them? I, 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 I it because she attacked. That's the only reason I did that. I was not going to do it. I it was it's so, all over it. it's like, in Loden, is it burial, the custom, or cremation? Um, either or would be appropriate, so long as something is done for the body. Obviously, the more, um, you know, the the more quality of the person. I hate to word it that way. Right, like the right. more noble of a person, the more ceremonious it becomes. Right, but they don't like higher. religions. More yeah. of just like a yeah, like a recreation. Like they're going to so be like getting a really like pretty grand big big burials. Probably wouldn't be a big. Well, yeah, yeah they're, they're going to get probably be. one of the biggest it, burials there is because of me. I mean, mm. yeah, right, right. Because of our bell. but for example, the the burial for for Lucas mm -hmm. to Shane. Yeah. Well, right, right. Like the nobles and things like that. Yeah. yeah. Under the tree, we should bury them. Okay. We can do so. Before we, before we leave, I want to check the crates that have the potatoes in them just to see if there's anything else. <laughs> like dig it in the bottom it. of the crates? Yeah. If it's just what it seems to you, be? You dig through it and um, you find no Dragon Balls and just potatoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is that what you're looking for? No, I was looking for. I mean, literally, anything. literally okay, okay, they sure. were trying to sneak yeah. something in the ship. I mean, anything. It was um, going to Twilight Town, so you never know. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear you. That's um, a shitty area. So it is. We'll what bury do them we do with the crates now? I mean, we're not going back. Let's finish burying these people. So he all spend like the better part of the next forty-five minutes or so, forty-five minutes to an hour, digging these holes, getting them. What time deep of the enough. day is it now? Uh, it's uh, a little bit after the afternoon. Um, I would say about like three or four ish. I don't even know if the boy's name was Cedric. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll say a prayer for them. Help hopefully allow them to move on, pass on safely. Yeah, um, uh, our boat's gonna join them. A religion, you too? Ooh, they rise seen. as zombies. Um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Do a natural 20. A natural 20. 15. Okay. Again, you, you feel that soft breeze as if communication has been established. Bastion, for the first time in a long time, you feel radiant glow, a warm smile, as if Saren Ray is watching over these two. You also lose one point of corruption. Oh, yes. These two or three of these I bodies. Oh, did, uh, did I lose my point of craft? Or there were four bodies, weren't there? Yeah, there's four bodies. Okay. Well, are you we, get we safely <laughs> passed all four on? Yeah. Okay. I got craft because I could have failed the rules and check. I could have failed two of them, so that's it, why I got it, three. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it was actually con saves. It was not really mm. good no, 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 no. Yeah. Like, that's right. I got it when I attacked your religion and I could have failed. <laughs> Yeah, it was due to the area you were in. Anyways. Oh, dear. They're buried now? They are buried. They're buried. Okay. Um, the scrap metal in the box. Scrap mm -hmm. metal? 
came from hollow scrap metal. It is metals, wood, springs, cogs. I'll take it. I'm gonna take some too. Okay. Start loading my chest. Alright. Load up. Put some in your pack. You're able to pretty much fit everything you need to in there. I'm just looking uh, for regular about, maintenance. Yeah, you're able to pretty much empty the box, no problem. With cool. your various bags and chest compartment. Alright. Swag. <laughs> How are we going back to... Let's continue. Yeah. I'm... I'm going to say this did get to Vale a little bit. Because he's not completely emotionless. No. He just has to fight a little bit to yeah. have it, yeah. correct? And okay. is, that a, is that a change brought on by the... The, yeah. okay. the orb. Yeah. We, we would probably know. He's that. a sociopath. It, it, it's, it is alarming, but... yeah. You have the blood of these innocent people kind of flowing through you right now. Yeah. I about feels worse. I about so, like, Are you... we not going to address that? Should we address that? What? Vale. Yeah, maybe we should address maybe this. Maybe we should stop and address that now. Well, that blood going. soaking. The fact that we now know that the ice sword, the sword. blood, everything. Oh yeah, no, Layla's taking note of it, but um, should should we address it or should we not? Um, it all ha I don't understand why I have to address it to him. Yeah, I've already spoke my piece about how I felt about the orb. I guess we all know something's going on. So I mean, I already had a feeling that there was this, and I am. I could see Layla being irritated at the fact that he said he didn't feel anything when clearly he has gotten immense power from that orb. I think Bastion will mail up and ask Vail if he's feeling okay, if everything is alright. Well, despite me cutting down what we now know is innocence. Okay. <laughs> Would you say you would have always said you'd be fine from that? I was going to say um, to Leila, it's a good thing your attack missed. C can we let him finish his okay, bit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I do suppose that it would have affected me a little bit more, but I believe I'm much more into my mission now than before. Okay. Take it a little more seriously than I was before. I'll, I'll brood on that. Yeah, simultaneously with what I said happened. Are you trying to grave? <laughs> um, <laughs> I will go to go up to the tree and um, I'll study the tree. See what kind of tree it is. Funny enough, it's an apple tree. <laughs> Get on the tree. The tree will grow and the apples will be the best apples in the world. So, I don't anything I else around the tree, in the tree? I don't know, I'm seeing a black spot and I just want to look for something in there. Look inside the tree. Looks like squirrels may have made this their home at some point. A little bit of squirrel species. Mm -hmm. um, birds in the tree. Nuts. Yeah, yeah. some acorns. Oh, no, acorns. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Um, I will your wife say? take out um, the carving knife, the skinning knife, okay. and uh, I will carve the draconian symbol into the tree and do it with magic. Okay. As a sort of warding around this tree. What kind of magic are you putting into it? Um. Good magic? The dragon magic? Arbella, Arbella okay. watches me all do this and it's like. I mean, I can make a dragon grow fast. I can look at some kind of magic. Yeah, yeah there's, there's arcane in that, absolutely. It'd be okay. my own kind of. <clears throat> our clan doesn't bury or burn our people. We basically suspend them like they're dead but they don't go anywhere yeah okay you do so our brother's gonna be like let's turn to bastion a little bit and it's like didn't you didn't he defile ceremony with that magic no i don't recall such an act 
technically be a Bahamut thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so. I, I don't recall such a thing. In fact, I find it very refreshing oh. to see him do something religious in nature. Yeah, that would be a hypocrite to say something. Because the says, I have more blood than he does on my hand. Okay. So, uh, shall we continue? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Take your time with all of this. Did anyone see Sino Baka? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> see what? Nothing. I guess yeah. if you want to be off on your own, you can be. <laughs> Who's doing what now? Yes, trying to walk off on his own. Well, I just kind of, you know, took this off for no particular reason at all, you know. Oh, what? You're trying to leave me? No, 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 no. But seeing like a whole family get cut down by bandits and everything, you know, kind of <laughs> doesn't do favors for Theo. So he's not doing so well right now. Okay. So, in your home of loneliness, um, Chicago is there. Just me and Chicago. Not really of a comforting nature. <laughs> In fact, you get a sense from her kind of a snicker of approval. Oh. You, you, you. Do you have something to say? I'm just amusing, is all. Amusing about what? Falling for such a <laughs> low class illusionary spell like that. <sighs> I'm sure you would have perfectly spotted it, oh mistress of darkness. Hmm. That wouldn't have been a problem. I may have killed him either way, though. If they had things I needed. But they didn't. Not there. I'm still trying to believe that there is some goodness left in you somewhere. You can believe all you want. Perhaps that's what drives you to keep going. So does anyone find me at this point, or...? I would have started looking for yeah. him, if I, I had the time. I don't, like, you're not trying to stealth away from them, are you? No. Yeah. Not Just kind of sure. wander off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're able to, a little bit south of here, you're able to find Theo kind of on his own to himself I guess I'll go up and I'll place my hands on his shoulder I'm not going to say anything mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you find more comfort now chuckling, snickering silences they start to fade inside my mind yeah Okay. I mean, they weren't really auditory, but yeah, yeah, the, the, it's quiet down some up there a little bit. We should get going. If you wish so. I just start walking towards Hollow. Okay. So, everyone gathers up together, heads back on the road, various steeds and stuff recovered. <laughs> um... You know, continue the trick on to Hollow. You rest again tonight, like you did the night previously. Slumber not coming nearly as easily as it did the night before. Well, you do find yourselves rested for the next morning. Get up the next day, continue the trick on, finding it to be less eventful than the day previous. Kind of towards late afternoon. You start seeing in the distance, Hollow, the city of tinkering and forgery. Now, it is 10.30. We can continue on, or we can stop here. I don't think there's going to be any battles, so I would continue on, but I know about everyone else. I think stopping at Hollow would be a good safe point. If you'd say that we successfully make it there. Um, we can have all of our... 
the rest of the stuff happen on our next mm -hmm. campaign. But definitely mm -hmm. can't do a combat. No, there would be no more combat. I have about like 10 to 20 more bits of narrative, 20 minutes worth of sure. more narrative to set up before this, my plans stop, if we want to do that. I think that'd be great. Um, I'm fine with this. Yeah, is, okay is that alright? Yeah, that's that that much more. Yeah. I no longer have 8 a.m., so I'm fine with this. Okay. I'm just considering everyone else. No, I'm just, no, I'm just, no, I'm just is that okay, Dorm? Mm hmm. 20, 30 more minutes. Okay, let's do it then. Yeah. Y'all make it towards the city of Hollow. Um, for the first sight in a while, um, there are actual buildings, actual, actual infrastructure here. Um, cogs spinning on the exterior of buildings. Um, familiar and comforting sight. Um, Layla, you probably mm -hmm. start yes. making your way directly towards the forge to go speak with yes. Lucian. Um, Where's mine? Oh. Loopy, you're probably heading right for the forge as well. Oh, yeah. Um, everyone else, you kind of consider this your time for, for rest. Um, those wanting to follow along with the princess towards the forge, me. Um, I want to go with the deal to the blacksmith. Blacksmith? Fine. Is there a Let church? The forge. Or a place of worship? Worship? Roll perception. Uh, 21. Okay. Walking around town. Um. You notice a few things. Uh, you notice um, a lot of things around town as if they're prepared to get ready for something, some sort of festival or something. Everyone seems in a rush. They're all, all gathering things. Uh, a, lot, a lot of the stores and merchants seem to have their best items on display up front, like they're getting ready for some sort of event. Um, you look around. You do end up finding uh, a smaller shack. Uh, looks like it wasn't really built the same as all the other buildings. Looks like it was probably built like by hand versus all these buildings created w with the help of constructs. Um, and on that, um, there's a symbol on the front of it. You don't immediately recognize the symbol, but it does look like if there were worship here, this would be it. Okay. Also, next to it, um, kind of down the street, you see a ton of people gathered currently in line. Many different people gathered with uh, mm, varying sets, sets of armor equipped and varying weapons. They all look to be waiting in line for something. Um, I'll go investigate the line. Okay. So come up to this line and uh, you notice that they are all in front of the battle arena, which is the Coliseum for Hollow. Um, is anyone else with him right now? Looking around town? Is that on the way um, to the blacksmith? Uh, kind of. What? The forge being the very center, he's kind of like he would have taken some side streets away from the main course uh, towards the center of town, but then I, I am, be. Is there I'm with him at the shrine thing, sort okay. of. Whatever. By the way, does Abel remember the name of that family? Because it shows oh. the, the conversation. Which family? The one that we, the child thing you mentioned. Trask. I'm going to look for that family. you look it, for that family? Yes. What family? Are you are you with us right now? Uh, Which family are you no. for? No, you're just off on your own? Yes. Okay. So like that, family members? Yes. Uh, other other people. people. Masquerading as the boy. The the trash. Trash. I don't I don't that was the know. ones that died. They were That's the only thing. You start to going around the main city asking for the Trask family and no one really knows who you're referring to. Um, small farming family outside of the city limits. Not a lot of people are aware who they are. Oh, um, can I ask the farmers outside of the city limits? You're not outside the city right now. Okay. Well, you take the next couple hours to go outside the city. Yeah. We'll do everything else. 
Is there a Coliseum in Hall? Yes. That's, yeah, that, that's, that's where we're seeing it. Are you traveling with yeah. us? Oh, I this thought you were going to find it. I well, was looking for one, but you, I found this found, line. We found this this um, shoddy, shoddily built um, shack that looked like it may have been a place of worship. And right down the street, he saw these people in line, ultimately finding that they are in front of it, the battle arena, which yes. is the Coliseum. I'm with you. Okay. okay. So it's us three. Okay. Visions. As you yeah. three Visions and get up in line. Um, I'm not gonna fuck this one up. <laughs> <laughs> as you, as you three get up in line here, um, the gentleman in front of you mm, looks to be wearing mm, kind of this this chainmail um, yellow trim on some some bits. He he turn, turns around to greet you all. It's like, ah, more combatants for the tournaments. My name, my main name is uh, Lashnell. It's nice to meet you. And like, holds out his hand for you all. Um, they call me the Shining Spear. I pat yeah. his hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. We're not there, right? No. Okay. No. We were going to the blacksmith. So. Are, are you all signing up for the tournament? What tournament? Why, tournament for the floating festival. It is tomorrow, after all. Oh, I'm afraid we're strangers here. We haven't heard of this. Oh. So is this a local festival? No, no, no. It's all of Floatin. Each capital city celebrates. Loopy. Uh, I mean, those residing here know of this. The Floating Festival is the kind of ringing in of a new year. It is the annual celebration, celebrating good fortune under the royal family, under the elites. Would that about celebrate that? Celebrating being invaded. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Those no, who did like, the invasion, you know yes, right. they are celebrating. It. Okay. So she like we celebrate the Fourth of July, do we not? Ah. Oh. <laughs> so yes. that's, uh, Shots fired. That's a monster <laughs> as well. Oh, These monster. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. So all, all capital cities. So for real, the monster of Yox, being in the capital city, there's a familiarity for you. Do, do we want to join? Are we interested at all? Uh, um, what, what's the purpose of this? I mean, violence as entertainment. In, in a way, um, normally they only let us gladiators, us combatants, fight constructs, <laughs> like oh motions to Bastion. Yeah, we're only allowed to fight constructs except for this one tournament each year. Then they let us have gladiatorial combat, oh, um, person no. versus person. To the death? No, 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 no. Very good. I'm talking. Okay. Um, and constructs can still participate. He sees a construct talking to him, like, uh, not usually, but you seem very different. <laughs> I... Hmm. I'm surprised maybe, he hasn't said anything about the ears and tail. Maybe I will find this person. I do. Hmm. Do you have a gladiator who looks similar to me in your... Yes. I mean, we don't we don't have many regulars. Um, those who lose kind of oh. lose their title. Oh. Um, it's a lot of th this festival today that attracts a lot of us, especially me. Mm. I wish to join. Excellent. Um, now we have to wait if I don't start to, turn to register. <laughs> I to or are there teams? Uh, it, it's mainly. Uh, solitary honor. The higher you move up, the more honorable and favorable you are in terms of the royal family. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll participate. Oh. <laughs> My master would enjoy that. That would make me feel like that. Oh, I want to avoid this so Mag much. Magic in the Coliseum. It's going to go well. <laughs> yeah. great. Oh I know you're having, your no. you're having your vision, so you kind of have to go, but... I'm not even thinking about it. You better that. become more popular with that The princess is here. Right? Oh, yeah. The princess has no idea this is going on. Uh, this tournament is taking place, like, now. Tomorrow. Like, now? <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> it's going on tomorrow, yeah. Okay, so, tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Is, is he all right? Like, Unfortunately, if he's... Just see if I can Well, it's nice to meet you all. I, I hope we don't have to fight each other in the first round. And what was your name again? Lashanel, the, the Shining Spear. To your it is yeah. nice to meet you. That's the punishment? <laughs> no, but if you get exiled, which is bad. Okay, I guess we're waiting in line, then. We can get with exiles, who knows? And he, he's continuing to try and have this 
semi-awkward conversation with you all as the line is moving. He seems Cadriel, like nervous. Cadriel, you know, he does. He waits in line like you a normal know, person, but yeah. as the line goes further, he just continues to stand where he is. You know, I don't, how do lines work? Like, okay, okay. Just, just, no, just, what does he look like, Lachanel? Lachanel? Just a pure. I assume Describe physical appearance to me. Human with bright yellow hair. No, actually. Oh. Um, he is a human with uh, teal colored hair. His eyes kind of the color of a sunset, very orange and yellow ish. Um, his hair bound back in a ponytail, very long. He's been letting it grow out a lot while. He's got that kind of like um, more ceremonial looking chainmail on and, and a big metal spear on his back. Wow, you really are turning this into a nice anime esque sort of story. I enjoy it. Yeah, I'm so happy. This is super cool. We reached the blacksmith. You guys are at the forge. Um, you all kind of working your way up um, at the third. At the second floor, you'll find the blacksmiths and stuff. Um, at the fourth floor, you find your home workshop, which I imagine you're darting straight towards. Mm -hmm. Also on the fourth floor, Layla, you find Lucian's workshop. It's all he will be residing. Um, you do find him, and he is pacing outside of his workshop spells. currently. I'm not a wizard. Lucian? I am so sure. I have what I have. You know, oh, princess, you've returned. When I love you the world. You seem worried. Is everything uh, okay? Switch, it seems really fidgety. These are innate. Mm. That's the we should go in and talk. Yes. Okay. Um, he opens the door into his workshop, and we both walk in to find your older sister Lyra, oh, fuck, Lyra. sitting. <laughs> <laughs> this look of disapproval across her eyes. <gasps> sister, <laughs> I've missed you so much. <laughs> I would love to be there, like, oh. Bitch face. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. this is RBF? Oh, Kim Jong-un! <laughs> you look lovely as always. We got a report. Little H, though. <laughs> we got a report, dear sister. Of what? From the guard we sent with you to oh, escort you. Oh, he was an you. asshat. <laughs> a dickhead. Or, as some would say, a dickhead. A fool. <laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> Translation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saying you have stumbled your way across many questionable people. Questionable? I'd call them allies. Really? See, what I would say that guard I'm lacked... not finished. Hold on. Oh. 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 <laughs> Is that so? Uncharted territories? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. Looking both to Lucian and you now. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't believe you two. Oh, learn how. And that's where we'll end tonight. God dang it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> At this blacksmith. We'll get there. I just want so much shit. I okay. just